But since Neighbouring Good Lives has come along, just the flexibility and it's so easy and I don't have to jump through all the hoops to um, have a good life. It's just, yeah, I get to manage it myself and have the freedom to do what I want, which means a lot just getting out of bed in the day and deciding what I want to do. Life um, before in Naming Good Lives was a struggle, years and years of struggle, um, stress. So I called up with Steve um, and Stevie and we went over, they had drawn up like a dreams for Stevie and kind of talked about all the fun things that Stevie wanted to do. Life's different now, um, the stress is actually gone, um, everything's more organised. I live in Raglan, I love Raglan and I've got my own place. I was living in services, it was miserable, it was hard, it was quite difficult trying to find help. What's changed for me is working, getting out and about with my friends, playing rugby and swimming. It has meant that we have been able to have way more flexibility that no money is wasted. It's all just about supporting James and making his life as good as possible for him. And you see it in James, I think that's the greatest thing. My son is Ezekiel Moliama Siliti. He's a five-year-old, fun-loving, energetic uh, um, little man. He's a real joy to be around, as many people have seen and say. For EGL, we knew nothing about the disability sector. We knew nothing about supports. We didn't even really understand what was going on with Ezekiel. It was actually quite a struggle because we, because we didn't know much. We weren't able to figure out what we needed and how um, we could actually achieve that. Hi, my name is Hazel. Kia ora, my name is Brian and with Elliot. We love the name and good life. Uh, the freedom to do anything we want, basically, and we're very reason. We, we love, love together in our own place. We, we love it. We love it. I would say just make, take the leap. It does feel like a bit of a leap when you've been used to being within a system of agencies and not having the say and not having the control, but it is just, it's just fantastic. It is, um, opens up life and it's incredible uh, with my two daughters what, what their lives are like now in comparison. Enabling Good Lives has changed my uh, life in many ways but mainly it's given me the opportunity to get out, um, enjoy my day-to-day -day life, um, knowing that I've got support and um, and to enjoy the future, you know, it looks like it's a, I've got a good future still. I guess I'm so glad that Enabling Good Lives Waikato is accessible for me because it's allowed me to pick up and start living full life again, regardless of my deteriorating health. And I have better quality of life now than I did before. Um, I realise and understand that not everyone has access to this system and it, that needs to change. You know, we all need access to live full, equal quality lives and have the ability to have the control and say over our lives instead of having someone else dictate and tell us how we're gonna live and what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it.